Hello everyone, my name is Christophe Nazar. I'm a Microsoft Premier Field Engineer. With Robert Evans, we bring you the Windows Store Application uh, Developer Series blog, and I hope you will enjoy it. Hi, Robert Evans here. This week we're going to talk with Mark Williams, who's going to talk to us about Windows Intune. Mark, what is Windows Intune? When was it released and where's it going? Uh, well, Windows Intune now has been around for, uh, we released it in 2011, so about two and a half years ago is when we first released. Uh, initially, it was focused on the needs of small and medium sized businesses, uh, particularly in controlled desktop scenarios. But over the course of the last two and a half years, we've responded to a couple of key initiatives or pressures from our customers. One is around enterprise customers that really are very interested in this functionality. And the other is around bring, bring your own device, BYOD scenarios, if you will. And those scenarios have driven us uh, pretty aggressively towards the, the functionality we have today. And perhaps the best way to show you that is to just demo this right now. Maybe I could show you this right here. That's great. Yeah, okay. let's take a look. Sure, thank you. Okay, Robert, so we're, uh, we're going to walk through a scenario here which I think will be of interest, which is the deployment of Windows 8 line of business apps. So as, you're, uh, as you probably know today, um, the primary way to distribute a Windows Store app, reasonably enough, is to upload it to the Windows Store. But a lot of customers really want to develop their own line of business apps and uh, push those out to their internal users, their, their employees, without obviously uploading that to the Windows Store. So what I'd like to do in the next few minutes is walk through this from an end-to-end -end perspective. I'm going to start with the developer who's going to be putting together a very simple application. It's going to hand that off to the IT pro who's then going to use the Windows Intune administrative console to upload to the service, to the Windows Intune service. And then um, he or she will deploy that to a user called Steve. And then I'm going to put my hat on as an end user called Steve. And Steve is going to find that application in an application we call the company portal and is going to go ahead and install the app. And all that's going to be done without the app ever going through the Windows Store. So just to set the scenario, let's start off. So I'm going to put my developer hat on here. I'm in Visual Studio. I've got my app, which is actually just one of the sample apps that's provided with Visual Studio. And just so we can recognize the app, I'm going to change the name of it to uh, just, let's call it my line of business app right here. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to build this here. Pretty straightforward. And now this is the key part. Um, I'm going to right click on the name of the project here, and I'm going to go to store, and I'm going to choose to create an app package. Now, so far, this is identical to what I would do if I was deploying to the store, except that here, I'm going to be asking my building packages to go to the store, and I'm going to say no. Um, I'm going to move on to the next part of the screen here and just specify where exactly it's going to store this package. Uh, I'm just going to accept defaults here. It's going to create that package now, and then it's going to tell me where to put it. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up because this share is really, in a way, the handoff point between the developer and the IT pro. So I'll just open that up here for reference, take a copy of that, and you'll see why I need that in a second. So now I finished being the developer. I'm going to move across to being the IT pro at this point. So I just got a call from my developer who said, got an application. I want to make it available to everybody in the Seattle office. OK, so this is the Windows Intune Administrative Console. So this is something the IT Pro will typically see, hopefully day to day. And I'm in the software node here. And in particular, I'm going to move into Manage Software. And you'll see that I've got a number of packages here that I've already deployed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upload the package that was just handed off to me by my IT Pro. So to do that, I'm going to move into the Add Software option here. I'm going to get uh, a prompt here to enter my credentials. Whoops. I can type properly. And then I'm going to get a small screen, which just gives me a little background on what's going to happen next. I'm just going to do next here, because I'm reasonably familiar with the screen. And at this point, uh, I'm going to choose to uh, select Software Installer. And in particular, I'm going to choose a Windows app package, or an AppX package, which is uh, the file format for a Windows Store application. Now, at this point, remember the developer handed this off to me in the share that I provided you with, that he, uh, he or she provided me with. I'm going to go back and just cut that into my clipboard so that uh, I got that available. When I go back to the screen here, the wizard here, I'll do browse. I'll browse to that particular share. I'm going to go into the latest version of this. And I'm going to pick up, you see, this is the AppX file. So this is the, the deliverable, if you will, from the ID, uh, from the developer. 
and I'm going to select the Apex file, which is a very small file. It's just 50K. And we're just going to get the exact size here. So we've got everything we need here. I'm going to go on to the next screen, and let's just say this is our friend's Contoso, developed by an internal developer at Contoso. And I'm going to give it a name, which I would just call my line of business app. And you'll see where this shows up in a second. And I can enter a brief description just here. And then I can give it a category. And again, you'll see that how this shows up in the user experience in just a few moments. Um, I'm going to say that this is under, for whatever reason, photo and media. And then I'm going to do next here. And by the way, I could have provided an icon that would show up for the end user. I chose not to do this. Got a confirmation screen here. And now I'm going to upload to the service. So we're going to um, upload the metadata. We're going to compress. We're going to encrypt. And we're going to upload to the service, which is done now. That was pretty quick because it's just 50K. And if I refresh the screen now, the IT Pro screen, the administrative screen, we're going to see that that application is now showing up, um, my line of business app. So we can see this is available and now, and it's stored within the Windows Intune service. However, at this point, I've not chosen the users who should be able to get this application. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into, and by the way, you'll see over here it says manage uh, deployed is set to no. So it's not set to be uh, deployed to any users at the moment. So let's go ahead and resolve that. I'm going to click on manage deployment. Um, Windows Intune supports the creation of user groups. Here I've got just one user group. Um, the young group one is all those, as the name implies, where they're not yet put in any groups. But for the sake of this demo, I got a, a group called Seattle Users. I'm going to add that group over here, type next here. And then I'm going to say that I want to make that available to all the users, in this case, in the Seattle Users group. I'm going to do Finish. And now you can see that my line of business app says deployed is yes. So from the IT Pro perspective, I'm done. I've uploaded it to the service. I've deployed it or effectively targeted it at a group of users. So now I'm going to switch hats for the final time. I'm going to switch over to the end user experience. This is an application that is available in Windows Store called um, the Company Portal. Um, let me walk you through this very quickly. There's some basic information on here about how to contact your IT uh, department, which is provided um, by the previous persona I showed you. They would have used the administrative console to put some basic contact information in here. We're going to give you a list of devices that have been registered with your particular account. In this case, I've got a couple of computers that have been associated with me. And you'll see that this, this has actually just appeared since I moved screens. There's a new application here called My Line of Business App. That's the one that was just targeted at me by my IT Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And then I'm going to get the information I just entered. So I can see the name of the app. I can see a description of it. It went into the photo and media category, and so on and so on. I'm going to press Install. And as is true with Windows Store apps, we're going to get out of the way. Once you've, once you've selected that option, we're just going to let you get on with your work. It's not a modal dialog or anything like that. Um, you'll see we get a, a notification come up here saying that we're, in the, we're going to start installing that. Um, while we're waiting for that to kick in, just a quick, you can see, in fact, that it's already started to install locally on the machine. Um, and in fact, believe it or not, it's already done. So if I minimize this and go back to the start screen, you'll see that the application now is already installed. And if I click on it, we get my line of business app is showing up here. And that um, is it, Robert. Uh, what I've showed you there is the developer creating the application. Um, if I can just minimize this down. The developer creating the application handing it off to the IT Pro, um, who then targeted the application through the administrative console. And then the user was able to see this in the company portal application, select it, install it, and hey presto, it shows up on the start screen. And that's one example of where Windows Intune can help you distribute line of business apps. That was great. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Cool. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity.